Yeah. Dynamite, baby. Nipsey still ain't paid up. Solid. I'm on it, B. This time is on the side. He's killing who we want to. So you know he's out of mind. He's out of I'm looking for Nipsey. There's no Nipsey here. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where's Nipsey? Here I am, sucker! You know that top shot, yeah, the shaft, mm -hmm. when he's crossing the street? Okay. Yeah. And all the movies had that. Yeah. That okay. top shot. Wow. Black Dynamite. Man, we're back to black exploitation. What was the, what brought us back here? We got to come back because you can't go into the future unless you understand the past. He taught me something. I didn't even know about these movies. Everybody attaches a negative connotation to them about image and quality. First of all, they were great movies done like the Mac. When you talk quality, I put it up against any movie made now. But what a lot of people don't know, and I know I didn't, he told me, these movies saved this town. Black people, little bad black movies saved Hollywood, correct? Absolutely, absolutely, because, I mean, when Melvin Van Peebles made the first, uh, you know, movie, you know, depicting... Sweet, you know, badass movies. Yeah, sweet, and sweet, sweet, backs, back, sweet, sweet, bad... Mm -hmm. Sweet <laughs> Sweetback's badass song. And, you know, he knows that, that that movie's hard to say. The title was too damn long anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it, uh, Hollywood found out that people, not only black people, but even white people, will go to see these movies. And then you had Shaft and Superfly and Mac. And these movies just were outstanding. And uh, so they would spend a fraction of what a uh, normal Hollywood budgeted movie would be and get all this money in return. So after a while, they just kept going to the same well. And they was just doing, you know, putting less and less money into these movies. A lot of the time these movies had only one take and you had to move on. Because right. they just didn't care. They just wanted to get, get the movie done and get people flooding into it. Thus, black exploitation. Right, right. But it didn't okay. begin that way. Okay. You know? okay. But I mean, you know, I, I say it, it, it harkens to, look, look at it, in, in any movie in the society where you had a you know, you know, movie about Jesse James. And, and and Bonnie and Clyde, these were these were American like, gangsters. You know, <laughs> it's it's it, you know it's about these gangsters with hearts or whatever. You know, these Robin Hood type of characters, which is the same thing. Right. right. But you know, this negative connotation is a bit unfair sometimes. Well, isn't like the the hero of the, of the black exploitation movies or the tough guys? And he's symbolic of like you know something that. All Americans try to like buy into this this hero that saves, uh, or avenges, or does something you know to protect or to get back for I don't know. No. <laughs> well, that's a good guy. question. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't quite know how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, they, they were real. They, these were real heroes. I mean. You know, in, you know, we grew up in the, you know, in the inner city. These were the, these were the only heroes we saw Absolutely. as kids right, right, right. that were black. Absolutely. Like, you know, my Cleveland. first, yeah, I, I grew up in Cleveland where I was a Cleveland Browns fan and our hero was Jim Brown. Uh, then he went and did movies where my hero again was Jim Brown. I mean, the first time I saw a black man who was tough and, and these guys were good looking. I, I remember Calvin Lockhart and, and Ron O'Neill. I, I was seeing beautiful, strong black men on the screen. I needed that because other than Sidney Poitier, with a bunch of nuns and lilies of the field, I never had those images. And and talk about women, you know, who did you fantasize about? I dream of Jeannie before Pam Greer came along, Tamara Dobson comes along, all these beautiful black women that on Star the big Trek screen. Thing. Yes, yes, we <laughs> needed to see these people for our self-image. Absolutely, right, absolutely. Right. <laughs> What's wrong, honey bee? I've known you too long. Now, if something's bothering you, why don't you lay it on me? Black Dynamite, I got to go to the hospital. 
It's my little nephew, Bucky. He od Where is Bucky, and what has he had? It's that new drug on the street. All the kids are falling prey to it. What we gonna do, Black Dynamite? <coughs> I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight. The only way I know how. Ever since I was a boy, all I knew was how to fight. Fight, fight, fight. And when I got tired, I would fight some more. And now that the man has got our backs to the wall, I ain't gonna let him hurt the kids. I'm gonna take them down. I'm gonna take them all down. So this movie, Black Dynamite, I mean, just tell me, like, how did it start? Got where did you come up with this idea? Like, like, where were you and what was going through your mind when you came up with this? Well, I was listening to a James Brown's Superbad, and I came up with this idea of this movie that would That's true, later though. be called Black Dynamite. True. True. Wow. There you go. And, uh, <laughs> where were you? Sitting in your house in the valley? No, I was in the middle, in Eastern Europe. In a Stop place it. Called, in Bulgaria. You name, you name dropping <laughs> on geography. You ain't been in no Eastern Europe. Yeah, I was shooting this movie called, uh, um, damn, Undisputed 2 in Bulgaria oh, yeah. when I had the idea for it. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, came in, so it was born out of this country, actually. I need, and you're also a, a black belt. I mean, you're, you have... Multiple black belts. No, no, you re you read that wrong. Mm -hmm. He has owned a black belt. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, so there is no martial knows. arts in his. No doctor. martial arts skills at all. Okay, all right, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've been doing. I've, I've been, uh, you know, doing doing the martial arts since I was eight years old. Aren't you on YouTube beating somebody up? Beating somebody up? No, that was I TMZ, oh, okay. and he don't want to talk about that, my brother. Shoot, if I was on YouTube beating somebody up, I, I hope it ain't real new. I mean, <laughs> was this last night? <laughs> was it a journalist? No, 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 it wasn't me. gonna love this film I, I mean I think it's great that y'all took it back and it looks like it's like y'all filmed it back then but mm -hmm. I think the the film says a lot for what we can do and what we've done with with less and been able to do something great so I can't wait to uh, to the audiences to accept it and love it like that well, thank you thank you thank you man and Arsenio man please get back on TV man I want to see you on the show yeah. please I appreciate, I appreciate that man this is royalty you.